Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and I got another big video of, uh, well, some end game clips for the Viper Strike Pathfinder that has ended up with quite a few million damage, which takes, well, quite a few seconds to ramp. So it is quite a lot of damage in the end, and it has taken on all the content, including a five-way Legion battle, but some of these do have quite a bit of ramp attached to them for the uh, boss fights, so you do have to prepare just right with your totems, uh, have your right setup going, and then it might take a few seconds for you to see the billions of damage that you're going to throw out, but it is pretty satisfying and overall a fairly effective character because I did do something like 10 plus bosses on the 5-way battle, something like 15 plus bosses on the 4-way battle, and then a very clean and smooth deathless uber elder. So overall, Viper Strike, I'm going to call it 100% Viper and a pretty strong character overall. Definitely worth checking out if you really want to see what the Poison playstyle is all about. The mapping for the character with Ancestral Call and Melee Splash was really enjoyable, and um, it's not even too bad at clearing legions. It's certainly not the best, because as you can see, the uh, ramp up time does sometimes mean you don't quite get everything you want. Um, especially if you see something at the very last second, then you're definitely not going to be popping it out anytime soon. But the prolif, once you pop them all out and then um, start attacking and the prolif spreads, actually does clean up legions really effectively. And for the most part, it's fairly safe playstyle. You dive in, you've got your fortify, all your flasks up, stab a few times and bail. So there wasn't too much death going on in this character and uh, especially for the end game bosses. But it does take a little bit of min-maxing and uh, know-how as to positioning and um, sort of ramp-up time and mechanics and all of that. But overall, it was really smooth. And then for Delving as well, actually turned out to be a pretty good character because, uh, yeah, the Pathfinder Poison Prolif is pretty damn effective and uh, a very strong reason as to why we went Pathfinder uh, for a Viper Strike type character. Now you could obviously go something like Assassin as well, but the Prolif won't really be there unless you're going Binos, and I don't think it's a very strong way of building. This here is um, a bit of a four-way battle, and it was um, not really too certain as to what I should be doing for the setup itself, because Melee Splash Ancestral Call cleans up all the ads immediately, uh, sometimes for single target I like to keep Ancestral Call in, sometimes I like to keep Melee Splash in. Uh, in this four-way battle I actually decided to go pure single target. So what you're seeing here is absolutely no Splash, absolutely no Ancestral Call. This is uh, Multi-Strike and Melee Fizz. And that's where my biggest single target is. It's something like, you know, three to three and a half million uh, Poison DPS and it's only single target. So you can see I still slap some things and then Prolif goes around, and that's totally fine. But the main, uh, main point was that I'd be able to kill these bosses so much quicker, and it really is something like three times faster putting in your uh, single target setup, as you can see with the ramp there, compared to using the uh, AoE setup of Melee Splash Ancestral Call. Now I did do a five-way battle as well, but I did it before the four-way battle because, um, well, I had all five pieces, decided to go in and see how it goes. And you'll see that at the end of the video and how I play around with um, a few different setups. I didn't actually go a pure single target setup on the five-way battle. I only tried the um, melee splash or the ancestral call, and it did work out well enough, but I think I probably should have tried a full single target setup uh, for a either four or five way battle. I think that's probably the way to go, especially if you have the Pathfinder Prolif. Now you can see through a few more clips here of the end game um, boss fights. This is like a tier 15 elder or something. Once your ramp gets going, it really is quite hard to stop and uh, more than enough for every other boss in the game quite comfortably. And uh, it's just a bit of an adjustment to how you play it, your bit of play style, your setup, and, um, well, gives you a bit of practice dodging while things are dying otherwise. So I will also have an Uber Elder fight to show you at the end of this, but as well as that, a full-blown five-way Legion battle. The first one I've tried, and it went way better than um, my four-way battle on the Bladestorm character, simply because there's so much more potential for damage ramp on this guy. And, uh, yeah, if you're looking for some poison, I would recommend it. Uh, nothing too expensive, like I said, craft those claws, 
takes a few C here or there, a few corroded fossils, and it should be pretty easy to do. And then there's a bit of min-maxing you can do uh, You can do associated with level 21 gems that you can uh, have a look at on my character. Because I'd say it's pretty damn min-maxed at this point. And, uh, well, like I said, worth playing. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll leave you with the big fights, and see you next time. Why not Unbound Ailments? Because we don't... Like, the strength of Unbound Ailments is more duration. We don't really need more duration at this stage. Got plenty. Since it's Viper Strike. Okay, so. Does he blink around a lot right now or is he more fixed? Yeah, he blinks a lot. This is gonna be unpleasant, isn't it? Oh, man, that ramp is dirty. So he's not fixed, and Shaper currently blinks an absolute shit ton, which is annoying as an early bird. And yeah, the Prolif seems to be fine on um, ads, so I shouldn't really be worried about that. I can't wither him. Whereas normally I should be getting like a good few stacks of wither on him. Because he blinks so goddamn much. Poison DPS is insane though. God damn it, he double world me. I almost missed my opportunity to get back to Elder. Which is pretty monk ass shit. So yeah, I'm not even gonna bother trying to wither him, I guess. Since we know we can't. And I suppose it doesn't matter. Good and bad that he does the blinking so often. Because he does the blinking so often, he doesn't stand there chaining balls as much. So it's not really the worst situation. It's definitely kind of dumb. Dodge and slaps, dodge and slaps, and dodged. And dead. Well, that was pretty fucking clean. That poison deeps was nuts. Could have easily afforded to go um, Ancestral Call and been way safer. Oh my god. Actually, maybe this thing's kind of worth something right now. Otherwise, garbage. Yeah, I think this is going to be slow and rough and painful and I don't know if I could justify single targeting I don't know if I justify double attacking I'll start out with Ancestral Call and Melee Fizz I may try single targeting as soon as I see how shit the DPS is um, but maybe I want Melee Splash instead I don't know, we'll find out 3, 2, 1 fucking ass Okay, I'm mega slowed by some shit. I don't really feel like I am enjoying Ancestral Call. It just depends how many dudes I'm facing at a time, huh? Okay, so let's see. Does the ramp just take care of her? Yeah. 
probably move on from a boss a little faster than normal. I don't know, maybe Melee Splash will still work here. I feel like I should try. So he'll die, right? Yep. Okay. Getting them two together is really convenient, I think. Let's see if this guy's worth attacking. A little bit. How does he still have a dude up and he's still immune? Fuck off. Totem's dying, like, immediately. Okay, I'm gonna try a melee splash out as well. I think it might be real nice for pro looking. Straight up. Maybe I could clear the entire zone and then swap into single target. I think the melee splash pro lift was good. I guess it was. Which isn't a super big deal. He would have just then dodged all of the splash pilot. Which is pretty lame. Still spread out a bit. Yeah, they went back to their respective corners. Yeah, they grouped up again. because I uh, got him too soon. God damn it, totems. You're withering the wrong things. Probably got enough time just to kill him, maybe. I don't know, I think we did well enough. It's fucking Viper Strike. For that, I'm pretty satisfied with how it did. And yeah, I don't know what the answer is. Ancestral Core Melee Splash cleared the best, and sometimes it spread prolif real nice. But uh, pure single target would have burned through them so much faster. Maybe in the future, if I get another one or something.
try a pure single target. Ah, as far as my fat loot is concerned, doesn't look that fat. Divine orb, it's finally something. 